Water safe for drinking. Simple ways of cleaning water. We use water for so many activities, but we do not directly use this water. It has to be cleaned first. Try out an activity to see what is in the water. Take a glass full of tap water and a glass of water directly from the river or a well or a nala and compare. Compare the color of water. Compare if anything is floating in it. Keep water standing for an hour. Does anything settle to the bottom? Add soap powder and stir. Does it lather? Water from rivers, lakes and wells is not very clean. We have to make sure we clean it properly before using it. Let us make water muddy and look at some simple ways of cleaning it. Add a little mud to a glass of clean water. The whole water becomes muddy. Then leave the water standing for 2 hours. The dirt settles at the bottom. This is known as settling. Then tilt it carefully and pour the clean water out. This is also called decantation. The water that you have now has lesser mud than before. What can you do now? Take a clean muslin cloth and put it on the mouth of a jar. Pass the water through it. Some dirt will be left behind on the cloth. How did this happen? A cloth is like a net. If the particle of dirt is bigger than the net hole, it gets stuck in it and does not pass through. It's just like straining tea leaves. If the dirt particle is smaller than the net, then it passes through. So, the finer the cloth, the more dirt particles you'll catch. This process is called filtration. But look, the water is still muddy. What do you do now? You can run alum through it and let it stand for a while. Alum makes the dirt heavy and makes it settle down. Then we can take the top water. Now compare it to the muddy water we had at the beginning. We've taken out a lot of mud, haven't we? At home, we have an additional filter for drinking water. Water that looks clean may still have germs in it that are too small to see. If they are very small, they can pass through a filter too. These germs can make us sick. What do we do? We boil water and keep it boiling for 20 minutes. Then most of the germs in the water die. In some homes, people always boil the water before drinking it. This is to make absolutely sure that the water is safe to drink. Then we store it in a clean closed container. The container must be closed so that germs from the air cannot go into the water. After all this effort, we get clean water. So, we have to be sure not to waste it. We have to use it very carefully.